Maybe last time I took a cruise with a group of friends, I had a friend who got seasick on the cruise and I'm getting ready to go on a cruise with friends in less than 30 days as of this recording. And it made me think, what were some things that we could have done to help make sure that she didn't feel seasick while on the cruise? And figured let's make a video about it so that I can share them with you as well. And the first thing on that list that our really lovely waiter Edwin on the cruise that we were on did was say, take green apples. So he made sure that since she was feeling sick at dinner, he gave us a green apple to go so that she could eat a green apple because the next tip is not to have an empty stomach when you are on a moving vessel or feeling a little seasick. So make sure not to have an empty stomach because it'll help alleviate some of the nausea. One thing that you can do at the time of booking your cruise to help prevent the feeling of seasickness is to choose a room that is the lowest deck possible, usually the room start on level one or two, and then in the middle of the ship because that's where there's the least amount of rocking on the ship. And this should help a little bit. Another thing that would help is if you had a balcony room, being able to get outside and facing the same direction that the ship is moving will also be of assistance. I know when my cousin came to Alaska and he visited, we did a Kenai Fjords tour where we got to see all the different animals in Alaska and he did get seasick and one thing that they told him to do was to get outside, don't stay inside, get outdoors and breathe some fresh air because it definitely helped him. Another thing you can do is book a tester cruise and this cruise would essentially be, it's really a tester cruise for you in the sense that it's just a short one to three day cruise, see if your body can handle being at sea. If it can, great, book another cruise, but I wouldn't want to book a long cruise if I didn't know how my body handled the movement of the ship. So it might be, it might be helpful to know how your body handles it before committing to a longer vacation. Another thing is to talk to your doctor. There's different medications that are available to help with seasickness. I know some people have gotten patches behind their ear. When you go on a cruise, I know someone asked me, well, if I have a patch behind my ear, I don't want everyone else to know. But there are so many people on ships with patches behind their ear that help with the seasickness, so you'll actually fit right in. And there's also those C bands that are available. I believe they have like a pressure point on your wrist to help uh, mitigate some of the motion sickness that you may get when you're on a ship. The next thing would be to pack medicine. If you have medicine ahead of time, then you don't have to buy it on the ship. Uh, they will have it available, but if you have your own, it'll also should cost less as well. And something that my mom and my aunt, when they when they did a Kenai Fjords tour that people told them was ginger candies. Those are supposed to help. So ginger and ginger candies are supposed to help with motion sickness and to help your body as well. One thing that I will say though, I have a friend, she gets motion sickness everywhere, whether she's in a car or a plane. And when she was on the ship, we just did a cruise with her in June of this year. And when we did that cruise, she felt great. The first cruise she did, she was really worried. So she got the patch and everything. But she said, you know what? I'm going to try it this time without using anything. And because we had such a calm ride the entire time, she felt great. She never felt sick and it was great for her as well. So she didn't have to do anything extra. So. Again, that goes back to the point of maybe take a test cruise, see how your body reacts, because if it re reacts great, you may not have to worry about it, but if it doesn't, maybe there are steps that you can take to help prevent the seasickness you may feel on board. And if you are watching this video to prep for your cruise, I have a whole cruise prepping guide right here where I walk through things to do after booking your cruise, one to four months before your cruise, and one to two weeks before your cruise.